An American tourist goes on the run in Greece after a tragic accident plunges him into a political conspiracy that makes him a target for assassination. Welcome back movie watchers. Thank you guys for stopping by my channel. Beckett stars John David Washington in a manhunt in Greece after a tragic accident leaves him on the run with police and a bunch of other people after him for a conspiracy. I was really looking forward to Beckett because of John David Washington. I haven't seen him in a film since Tenet and I loved Tenet. It also stars Alicia Vikander in the film. So right there, the cast got me really excited for this movie. This movie is like a thrill a minute ride. This movie uh, focuses a lot on the manhunt. Uh, it has this setup in the beginning of this tragic accident involving him and his girlfriend played by Alicia Vikander and from there on he realizes that he's being hunted. There's this conspiracy involving a young boy and a woman that he saw during this tragic accident and so people are now after him. The manhunt itself is really thrilling because they really don't give you the answers of why are the police in Greece after him. And all of these other people that he encounters throughout the film are after him. So it keeps that mystery. It always keeps you interested in what's going to happen next. What is going to be the big reveal? Why? Uh, what is this big conspiracy? So for a good majority of the film, I enjoyed the the manhunt the aspect of it and uh how thrilling it did feel the movie was so quick and so fastly paced that it didn't allow even for beckett to have a time to grieve it's just so fastly paced with all of the characters that are introduced and him on the run it doesn't allow for him to take a breather and just think about what had happened so the movie is just so fastly paced and I enjoy that because it makes a lot of the moments thrilling as he is in this unknown territory and a lot of people don't speak English. So he's really like on his own and there's a lot of people that are against him. People that he thinks are helpful turn out to be bad. So there's a lot that is going on in the movie and it's all leading to what I expected to be a really like satisfying ending when we reveal like this big conspiracy once everything comes to light it's a letdown i thought the end of the film the payoff the big conspiracy why everybody is after him just was very weak it all happened in a brief conversation and that was about it i so i thought like the lead up to it, I appreciated the manhunt and how like quick it did feel and intense. And John David Washington gives a really good performance, but the end of the movie just was not satisfying. I honestly was expecting a lot more from the end of the film. I expected to watch it go, oh, now I understand what is happening. And there was, you know, hints at certain things happening throughout the film, different characters that Beckett was encountering and, um, you know, little snippets of what this conspiracy is. But when a character at the end, I'm not going to spoil it, when the character at the end says, this is what's happening, this is the conspiracy, this is why people were after you, it felt like it was just a big, big, big letdown. And then it just kind of wrapped up. And there was like seven minutes of credits at the end of the movie. And so I expected just a little more depth to it. I expected uh, some more dramatic scenes towards the end of the film. It just kind of felt like they spent so much on the manhunt and those thrilling moments. And then when they got to the end, they didn't know how to, quite how to wrap up the movie and give us a satisfying conclusion to Beckett's story because he didn't have any time to grieve. He's constantly on the run. So that all of that is mixing for what could be in a really intense ending and him finally realizing what is happening. It just ends and that's about it. 
But everything leading up to it is really good. It's directed very well. The director was the second unit director for Call Me By Your Name. And this is produced by Luca Guadagnino, who did direct Call Me By Your Name and Suspiria. So there's a lot of talent behind the scenes. The direction is really great. All of the action, all of the chase moments, John David Washington constantly on the run. That aspect was really good. So I don't have any problem with really the directing of the movie because it's really intense from beginning to about 10, 15 minutes before the film ends. But just the story for the end of the movie is the weak part for me. But everything else is really good. So I would recommend checking out Beckett. You know, maybe you have a different opinion about the end of the movie, but just be warned that it's kind of brief, a little bit of a letdown in, in my opinion, but you know, everybody has different opinions about things. But Beckett, I really did enjoy it. John David Washington and Elisa Vikander in the beginning of the film have really great chemistry. We also have Boyd Holbrook, who's great in the film as well. Just the cast is really good so before i give you my score for beckett make sure to check out my channel here i do movie reviews streaming service reviews is trailer actions first time watches ranking videos to your list all that fun movie related content you see on youtube and do that all here so make sure to subscribe to my channel i'm gonna go ahead and give beckett a b minus thank you guys for checking my review for beckett the new film starring john david washington have you guys seen it by chance what do you think about it let me know in the comment section down below and stay tuned for more up and coming content my name is just watches movies and you guys stay classy too